Okay, I'm gonna make a mitre box for cutting skirting of 45s. So you're doing your external, you can also use the internal 45s to your internal angles for the scribes that I've shown you in the early videos. So check that out. Okay, so I'm gonna be using seven inch skirting. So the top block wants to be seven inches. So if you're using nine inch skirting, use a nine inch block. Obviously, get it. You know what I'm saying? Also, there's enough distance on the bottom there. Now obviously you want to make this wide enough so it's not blocking around. You can actually put another piece on this side if you want. People do double ones. <clears throat> but this is just a cheap, quick jobby. Nothing special. Anyway, back to what I was saying. So basically I've got 80 mil there. That 8 mil distance is perfect distance for cutting my architraves that I'm going to be using. Most architraves are 3 inch. Once they're planed up, it's about 70 mil. So I've got enough there. So you can use this for cutting skirtings, your internals and your external angles, and also your um, architraves, your 45s. So first thing you do is get a couple of blocks, sizes you need, okay? You're gonna screw it together. Now I've got two bits of scrap here. You could use a bit of 7b2, 4b2, whatever you want, doesn't matter. But make sure it's thick enough. Don't be using, the problem with these thin block, the thin mitre blocks that people make, that you like using 20, 20 mil MDF, whatever, they're quite thin, so the saw has a tendency of wobbling around in your, in your cut. And that's the same principle as well for using them, uh, them plastic ones, you can buy them cheap jobbies. And the problem with them cheap ones is they're quite shallow, so you can only get like a four inch skirt in it, in it anyway, so they're probably pretty useless for most people. Um, especially if you're using a seven inch skirt, it's going to be way up above here, so it's useless. So this is a cheap way of making one, um, and obviously when you've used it, throw it away, and make another one if you're using a different size skirt in architrave. Completely down to you. Okay, first job. Get these on the bench there, flat surface. Okay, I'm going to put some starters in these. I'm going to use these um, anti-split screws. Get them in the vid there, you can see it. They've got like an anti-split point there. And also they've got um, a cap sink bit at the top. And they, I use these square driver ones because they don't slip like the posies. Pretty good, these. Use them all the time. I'll leave a link in the description. Okay, so let's get a couple of screws in there first. What you want to do, bear in mind when you've got a cut on these. So obviously you want to try and make sure you're not in the way of the screw that you're putting in. So I'd put probably two to the end first, and then when you've done your cuts, put some more screws in to hold this. So that, because if you don't put it, it's going to fall apart, obviously. We'll get to that in a second. Put a couple more screws in there first. Now, if you want it a bit, you can if you want it to glue it together. If you're that type of person, you know, put a bit of glue on it if you want. It's up to you. No biggie. Right, that bit's done. Now, what I need now, you need a set square, combination square, something that's got 45 on it. Okay, and also, don't forget, you need a saw. Get yourself a new one, they're cost about six quid if you want something nice and sharp. These blunt ones, they're a waste of time, you're just fighting over a pill battle. So get yourself a sharp one, it costs about six or seven quid. Makes your life a lot easier. So what we're doing, you've got two choices. You can either mark 45 on there, in your pen, or, which I normally do, is I leave that on and use that as a guide for me saw, which is find it a lot easier. And also, you know, you're not you're not going to stray off, especially if you're a bit of a novice for using a saw. Um, that's a better idea keeping this on where you cut your 45s. At least you're not the bang on them. So I'm going to do it with the set square on. Now I'm going to leave a gap about so much, about seven or eight inches. It's up to you. Don't get it too close because the problem you're going to have is that it's not going to be very strong and you've got to put some screws in in, in there so really you could do get in two or three screws in and obviously you need to make it a little bit wider for that principle okay so i'm going to cut two 45s there and where we go so i'll use the set square like i said now i'm going to put 
to the top of that five mil. I need a one. Because what I'm going to do, I'm going to mark the down so I've got something to work to. Then again, so I've got about seven inches gaps there. Nice short steps, you don't need to be doing this, you're not cutting logs in a pit. Just nice short steps. Okay. So as you see, I've cut through the job through the tops. Now what I'm going to do is make me set square. I'm going to mark the line all the way down. Just turn it around so I can see it. One mark. Two marks. So now what I'll do is, obviously you've got your line already in, so you can follow that line, you know you're going to be straight. Now all you need to do is now to cut down your pencil mark. Like I said in previous videos, you don't cut with the front, you cut with the back of the saw. Concentrate on the back of the saw. Concentrate on the back of the saw, yeah? That's where you want to be cutting. And you've just followed your pencil line. You've already done the top cut, so that should guide you, your angle. Cut down. Pull the back of the saw all the time. It makes life a lot easier if you're using a sharp saw, by the way, so bear that in mind. Now, don't cut all the way down to the bottom just yet. Come back about a half inch off the bottom because what we're going to do first, we're going to screw it before we cut all the way through because that's just going to fall out if you don't put any screws in it, obviously. Right, same principle on the side. Back of the saw again, cut with the back of the saw. Inch from the bottom. I'm going to put some screws in there. Again, a couple of screws. few more screws in the top there if you wanted to do so just back a few back inches back from the cuts there just to keep it a bit more security I tell it to you you can glue it as well I tell it to you let's put one in for now anyway so now there's your right block now you can make it as big as you want as long as you want and this suits the seven inch skirting so now you've got something you can cut <coughs> your skirting boards with, pretty easy. You're not going to mess about too much. I'll get a piece of skirting. I found a piece. Let's have a look. There we go. So I've got some seven inch torus here. So I'll turn that around. So you've got both, you've got both angles there, depending on which end of this skirting you're cutting for the 45s. Generally, what I cut from the face side in the 45s. So, in fact, that's uh, so I cut from that angle inwards, if you know what I mean. Can't give me a cut. I'll try and demonstrate. I'll just cut you a cut for you. Again, cut down the actual. Let's see if I can turn this around for you. Actually, I'll cut it first. Now, I've cut the 45 there, and I've cut through the face. And I've cut down just past the moulding. Okay, now what you want to do now is put another pencil line on it. And it's okay if you've been using it a while and you've got used to it, but it'll just make it life a bit easier for yourself so you get used to using it. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to put a pencil line on it. 
So the top of the cut takes care of itself. So now put it back in. Let's see if we can get it around this side so you can see it. And as you can see, I've cut it out and put a pencil mark on it there, as you can see. Got it? Now what I'll do is, same principle again, follow the pencil line all the way down and just have a pretty reasonable, pretty reasonable good cut. So I'll just finish this cut off here. So the proof is in the pudding. Like I said, I'm cutting with the back of the saw, just follow the pencil line all the way down. <laughs> so that's a pretty good cut. That is pretty good cut. So literally speaking, if I reverse that, turn that around, the reverse cut of it. Obviously it's not the same shape at the top, but that is a pretty good 45. And it's good enough for most DIYs and even professionals. I mean, they, most pros would use this option as well anyway. Don't think it's just you using it. All the pros do it as well. Not all of them have uh, a mitre saw. Pretty, pretty quick and easy to do that job. I'll be put off. So yeah, have a go, give it a shot. That is pretty bomb proof. Once you've made this jig, you can use it for all sorts of jobs. Um, like I said, bear in mind, if you're using nine inch skirting, sorry, seven inch skirting, run a seven inch top. Nine inch skirting, nine inch top, so on and so forth. So just bear them in mind. Don't forget sharp saw. Don't forget to put your pencil lines on and cut with the back 